Hey you guys, Alina here. Today we're talking about mastering the basics. These are things that I talk to my clients about when I first start working with them, whether it is a personal life coaching client or a business client. This is really, really important because unless you master the basics, how can you master anything else? So I'm gonna share these things with you and that way you can coach yourself and reflect on these things to see whether or not, oh yeah, you're doing pretty good in these areas or this needs to be improved or maybe there's a certain area that is completely neglected. So. Here are the areas we really need to master the basics in and areas that surprisingly they're so basic but most people just neglect them or don't master them or don't really take them seriously. So here they are. The first one is sleep. I go through the quality of sleep, the duration, the sleep structure. Next it's hydration, the water intake. This means water without any chemicals in it, without any you know artificial things in it, just water. Yes, lemon, cucumber, mint, all these natural things are permitted, but the water intake of the individual, and that means it could be, you know, depending on lifestyle, two liters a day, um, you know, daily minimum requirement. It might be three or four if someone is sweating a lot due to exercise or their work, or they drink caffeine. Um, nutrition, the quality of food somebody is consuming because quite literally you become what you eat. Exercise. As a human being, we are des designed to move. And so it's not an option of being like, I don't like to exercise. I don't like to, it's, that, it's not an option. I love martial arts. I love swimming. I love walking. I love cycling. Cycling. I love Zumba. Some people might hate those things. And so that's absolutely fine. Do what works for you, but do something. Journaling and self-reflecting. Journaling is learning and it's learning about yourself. It is improving, it's bringing awareness, you know, whether it's journaling about your productivity that day, whether you're journaling about what you have consumed in terms of information, in terms of food, in terms of um, hydration, whether it is an appreciation list, whether it is, you know, how you you're feeling, what you're thinking, how are you doing, what do you want, what are you doing about it, what have you been doing, what could you be doing better, what needs to happen for you to create what you want, like just journaling every single day is such a great way to just reflect. The next thing is reading. Why reading? Because leaders are always readers and it is a exercise for the mind. So just like uh, the body needs physical exercise, the mind does as well. Otherwise it becomes numb, it becomes slow and we need to exercise that. Now I'm going to give you a couple of uh, bonuses here, some extra things that I look at. Um, one of them is meditation and meditation can come in so many different ways. It can be walking mindfully in the park. It could be like Qigong, which is moving meditation. It might just be breath work. It might be listening to a guided meditation. It might be just closing your eyes and just visualize it. Whatever form that it comes in, meditation has been proven scientifically to improve so many different health problems and emotional as well as mental health. Meditation is something that um, I look at sometimes that is an extra. Um, also time management. The truth is we cannot manage time, but what we can do is manage ourselves so that our time is utilized in a much more purposeful, intentional way. So these things sound really basic, right? And they are, but they're so, so, so important. There is no bypass in this. There are no shortcuts to mastering the basic, you know, with sleep is really important because sleeping properly, um, it not only helps with weight management, with um, hormone balances, with inflammation, with pain, like there are so many different functions that happen when we're sleeping. So it's really important that we prioritize this and that we put it in like mastering the basics. And so do things like create habits that help you to achieve your goals. With nutrition, I know that when I eat good, I feel good. When I don't eat good the next day, I'm going to feel that. The amount of times that food has helped me to empower my clients to get rid of headache, migraines, to balance their hormones, to balance their periods and their menstrual cycles, to reduce inflammation, to get rid of flus and colds, even COVID like super quickly, get through the symptoms and heal themselves through food. You know the saying, uh, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Again, exercise is really important. You know, I'm so inspired 
when I see the Paralympics and I see these people that they could have said, oh, well, I'm not going to exercise because I don't have a, a limb or I don't have two limbs or whatever it is. I'm in a wheelchair. And yet these people are competing at Olympic level, like Olympic standards of um, athleticism. Like it's absolutely amazing and inspiring to me to see that. So if you are lucky enough to have a body where you can exercise, do it because again there is no shortcut to this you think you can get away with not exercising you are going to be in for a world of pain and health problems down the line that could have been prevented if you were more mobile reading again is exercise for your mind you guys like in this age of tiktoks and short attention spans that like people's attention spans have never been so short journaling it is amazing how many times people have had just these amazing, amazing, phenomenal breakthroughs when they journal and something just shifts. And again, you know, with the two bonuses with time management, I'm always surprised at how resistant sometimes people are to using their calendar in their phone to just keep track of everything, um, schedule their time and be very purposeful with their time. But once they start to do it, they start to see their productivity go through the roof and they start to feel more peace and more calm, less anxiety, less stress, because they are in control of their time and what they're doing. Again, with meditation, sometimes the best time to meditate is when you think you don't have enough time. Meditation can be so many different things. It can be so incredibly simple. So keep it simple. Don't overthink any of these things. But like I said, there is no bypassing these things. We have to master the basics to master anything else because you've seen it, right? You've seen people that have chased the money and they've neglected their health and they end up with health problems, which then they have to invest their time and money into in order to try and fix their health problems if it's something that can be fixed. My purpose of this video really is to remind you and hopefully to inspire you to take these things really seriously because you're only on this planet once and wouldn't it be of benefit to everybody, ourselves and the people around us, if we were our best selves and we actually fulfilled our human potential. And how can we do that if we're not even mastering the basics, right? <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your takeaway was. Please put a comment down below. I would love to know what your takeaway was from this video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me and really help me to grow this channel. Until next time, oh, and I nearly forgot, if you have any video requests, put it down below or hit the link in the description and you'll be taken to my website um, page, video request page, okay? <laughs> Until next time, you guys take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye.